Hello everyone, this is Juan from CanHub and welcome to another anatomy tutorial where this time we're going to be talking about the nerves of the male pelvis. Essentially what we're going to be doing here on this tutorial is covering the innervation of the male pelvis and its viscera. Fancy word for organs. We're also going to be seeing this image that you now see on the screen which is a image of a cut of the male pelvis where we cut and remove then a, the right part and are left now with the lateral left part of the male pelvis. You can clearly see here a few main structures, one of them is the bladder, you also see here the rectum, the prostate, a lot more structures that we're going to be covering, but essentially what we're going to be doing is highlighting these yellow structures which are then the nerves of the male pelvis. Now the innervation of the male pelvis involves both somatic nerves for motor and sensory functions, in addition visceral nerves or autonomic for the innervation of then the organs or the viscera. So let's start with the somatic nervous system, which is then responsible for motor and sensory functions. We're going to have a quick overview on the somatic nervous system and the autonomic nervous system, as this will help us in further understanding the role and function of the nerves we will later describe on this tutorial. Now the somatic nervous system is the division of the peripheral nervous system, which you probably know very well as the PNS, that is then associated with voluntary control of body movement carried out by skeletal muscles. It is comprised of efferent and afferent nerves and can be divided into three groups. The spinal nerves, cranial nerves, and associated nerves. We'd like to also briefly talk about the autonomic nervous system, a quick overview, and this is also part of the peripheral nervous system. This division of the PNS is then regulated by the hypothalamus in the brain and it influences the function of your internal organs, for example. It is responsible for several functions, including but not limited to then regulation of your heart rate, respiratory rate, pupillary response, digestion, urination, and even sexual arousal. The autonomic nervous system is then divided into the sympathetic nervous system and the parasympathetic nervous system. This video is not over yet. Continue watching now the full video at kenhub.com. We have lots more videos like this one available to our premium members on our website, not to mention all the fun quizzes, related articles, and Atlas sections. So click on the button in the middle to watch the full-length video and master anatomy.